Yo, what is up guys, it's your boy KPR bringing you guys a video today on Modern Warfare 3. And with this recent release, I'm sure all of you are looking for a way to level up quickly and unlock all those weapons. Also note that this can also be used to level up yourself and your weapons fast. There are two ways to level up quickly in this game, which I'll get right into it. The first I will give you is through the PvE game mode, which is Zombies. Zombies is more like Breakout, except there is a sort of DMZ twist to it, except there are no actual player enemies, they're all allies, which is good because you can get rescued at any time in case you're solo queuing like I am right here. Zombies is not as bad as people make it out to be, but it's definitely not for everyone. However, this is a pretty good way to level up yourself and your weapon. I got my tier up from level 6 to max level by doing one run in Zombies. I don't even have to save for most of the match if you're earning a bunch of weapon XP for doing contracts and getting a bunch of zombie kills as well. I would usually end my run with around 200 plus zombie kills with one gun and with 3 contracts done or so. Most of the contracts are fairly easy to complete, but I would not suggest going into the second zone unless you have a certain gun pack-a-punch, or for some, it might actually take two pack-a-punches just because they don't do as much damage as others. Battle rifles are for sure the way to go if you're just doing it for zombie kills and weapon XP, just because they have so much damage and melt very quickly. The ACR is also good, which is called the MCW in here, whatever you guys want to call it. So if you guys want a fairly easy time clearing zombies and getting some decent weapon XP, for sure complete a bunch of contracts in the tier 1 zone, but kills will give you more XP for getting them in the higher zones as well. And it can actually be pretty fun game mode when you go into the tier 3 zone, just because how chaotic it can be. Note that you will most likely be decimated though, since these zombies are both on crack and adderall. Another thing you could do if you want to get just a bunch of zombie kills, you can go into the higher zones and calling it an expel multiple times until like to your heart's content and stuff because it's going to keep spawning in a bunch of zombies each time. So you're able to clear them and it won't expel you, at least I haven't seen you get expelled at all. So you can do it that way instead if you guys don't want to do the contracts and want to do some mindless stuff instead. The last game mode that will give you a bunch of weapon and player XP is the war mode. They brought this game mode back from World War II and it was a very fun mode so I'm hoping to keep adding maps to this since you're able to get a bunch of weapon XP and player level easily. In case you guys don't know what the war mode is, you essentially have to keep completing certain objectives to progress throughout the map. Which this map consists of you capturing two points in the beginning, then progressing through the map to escort your tank, which leads you to a bunker where you have to infiltrate the computers in order to stop the warheads from being detonated. This is, of course, the objectives you get if you're attacking. If you're defending, you just have to stop them from completing those objectives. You will for sure be able to drop 40 plus kills each game due to these matches lasting quite a while, and you will keep encountering enemies left and right, there is never a dull moment in this mode, and I was using a pistol and was able to get 3 of my pistols gold every 3 matches or so. I did use my double XP token a few times, but either ways I have seen that these two are the best ways to get your weapon XP and player level up the fastest. I didn't do any exploit since there's no point in doing that, especially because your boy don't want to get banned or anything like that. Let me know if this was helpful for you guys down in the comments, leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. With that being said. Have a good day and stay safe. Later.